accounting equation the basics so over the next five or six minutes we're going to look at the absolute basics of the accounting equation the things that you really really do need to master straight off and then we'll point the way to some of the things that are coming afterwards so what does the accounting equation measure well if we go down the bottom of this slide we can see that the accounting equation is assets equals liabilities plus owners equity so let's put that in words so the accounting equation measures the assets um, of a business the assets and how those business and how those assets are funded are they funded through um, liabilities money we've borrowed uh, outside parties money from outside parties or is it funded by the owners owners equity it is important to know very well each of those components to the accounting equation so we'll have a, a quick review of what they are but it is important that you go away and absolutely master um, any account so that you know what category that it goes into all right so firstly let's look at assets uh, their resources that we'll expect will bring future economic benefits so the obviously example are uh, uh, cash I'll put example here supplies on hand um, so that could be such things if you've got a stationary cupboard that's the the stationary supplies you have in the cupboard you know your pens and pencils and paper so they're assets until you use them there's probably also fairly obvious assets if you stand in an office or stand in your premises somewhere and you look around and you might see equipment you might see furniture you might get outside see motor vehicles they're all assets if a business owns its uh, building and its land that is an asset there's also some um, initially assets that may appear less obvious they may be not um, so money that is owed to the business is an asset so you can't physically see that but for instance you make a sale on, uh, on credit to a client until they pay you that's an asset of accounts receivable also if you've paid for things in advance that's an asset so if you've paid insurance a year in advance that is prepaid insurance that is an asset and you use up that asset that asset becomes an expense probably at the end of each month when you bring to account the insurance expense and similar with rent you pay some rent in advance that's an asset until you use it up liabilities are pretty much the opposite of assets they are the things that you owe so examples of liabilities obviously a bank loan is a liability and if you purchase items on credit that becomes an account payable that's a liability it's a liability until you pay it so owners equity that real starting point for owners equity is the money that the owners invest in the business that's the capital introduced uh, this equity will increase if the business makes a profit and will reduce if the business makes a loss or if the owners draw money out of the business the profit of the business um, will also impact upon um, the owners equity so uh, the profit is impacted by revenue or expenses so income or expenses so revenue will increase owners equity and expenses will reduce owners equity uh, owners equity uh, appears on um, our two key financial statements the balance sheet and the balance sheet is pretty much in the form assets equals liabilities plus owners equity and it will appear on the uh, revenue statement the income statement it's also referred to as the profit and loss statement and that is revenue less expenses equals profit and that profit feeds into the owner's equity so owner's equity is the bridge between uh, our two of our key financial statements and and we can look at owner's equity from a number of perspectives right uh, so learning the accounting equation so an important thing um, for mastering the accounting equation is to be able to identify which category each account belongs to so if you see an account you, you've got a chart of accounts and the chart of accounts has got cash you need to know that cash is an asset if it's got bank loan you need to know that bank loan is a liability if it's got revenue you need to know that revenue is a subset of equity if it's got expenses you need to know that's a subset of equity so you need to be able to go through and identify um, each item in a chart of accounts and know what it is you also need to be able to reorganize the accounting equation so assets equals liabilities plus owners equity is the accounting equation and you must know this perfectly um, 
so you'll often see it just represented as A equals L plus OE, assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. Now to reorganise it, one thing we can do is we can take liabilities from both sides. So we deduct liabilities from this side and we just have owner's equity, and we deduct liabilities from this side and we have assets minus liabilities. So now we have the accounting equation reorganised to say assets minus liabilities equals owner's equity. And that's a pretty valuable way to represent the accounting equation because it tells us that the owner's equity is represented by what we own, our assets, less what we owe. And that's an important thing for an owner to know. What their equity is in the business? Well, they take all their assets and they deduct their liabilities and that's their equity in the business. Assets minus liabilities is uh, also referred to as net assets and net assets equals owner's equity. And that's why when we get to balance sheets later on, um, what do they balance? Well, what balances is the net assets must balance with the owner's equity. I know, let's also look at substituting values in the accounting equation. And we've got you know, just a simple example to see how this works. Um, so assume that you know that your assets are $100 and your owner's equity is 60. Let's work out what your liabilities are. And many of you will see that that's just 40. Um, so let's see how that happens. So we've got 100 equals liabilities plus 60. Let's deduct 60 from each side. So we deduct 60 from this side. We get liabilities. And we take 100 minus 60 equals 40. So therefore 40 equals our liabilities. Our liabilities are equal to 40. Now they're the really key things that you must know. Um, so work on that. Get these things perfect. Soon we'll probably move on to some more complex examples and we'll move on to the concept of a normal balance and we'll also look at contra accounts and how they fit into it. But the real starting point for here is to get to master those things. On, um, on Moodle and the core themes there's also a short quiz about uh, the accounting equation. So it's probably worth doing that to ensure you're making the progress. Thank you and we'll talk to you soon.